Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my nighttime skincare routine and this was a highly requested video so I hope you guys enjoy. So the first thing I like to do when I go into the bathroom is put my hair up and get it out of my face. And then I like to start out with makeup wipes to get the majority of my makeup off before I actually wash my face. And my favorite makeup wipes of all time are the Kirkland brand makeup wipes. Obviously you can find these at Costco, but I'm gonna do my research and link them down below anywhere I can find them. They are the most moist wipes I've ever used in my life. They're super, super big and they're just my favorite ones out of any makeup wipe I've ever tried. Next, I'm gonna go in with my daily cleanser, which right now is Elizabeth Arden Hydra Gentle Cream Cleanser. I actually picked this up from a TJ Maxx a while back and I've really, really been loving it. I'm sad because I think it's discontinued now, but it's a really good cream cleanser. It's really, really gentle and moisturizing and my face feels super soft when I'm done using it. About three times a week, I like to exfoliate my face, and my all-time favorite exfoliator is St. Ives Apricot Scrub. This is a deep exfoliator. It's not for everybody, but like I said, I've been using it forever, and it's just my absolute favorite. I feel like nothing compares to this, and nothing really gets deep down into my pores like this exfoliator. Now about once or twice a week, I like using a mask. This one has been my favorite recently. It's by the brand Formula 10.0.6 and it's called Pores Be Pure. So it's a skin clearing mud mask. It's absolutely amazing and I use it once or twice a week. Sometimes I put it all over and sometimes I just use it as a spot treatment on my acne. Again, I don't exfoliate or use a mask every day, and I definitely never do them in conjunction with each other, but just for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you guys all the products I use and how I apply them. Another thing I really like about this mask is you only have to wait 10 to 15 minutes for it to dry and do its thing, so you can just pretty much immediately wash it off. It's not like a two hour mask or something like that. Next up, I'm showing you guys my toner, which is absolutely amazing. It's one of my holy grail products. It's by Rodeal Skincare and it's called their Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. My favorite thing about it is that it smells like rose. It's absolutely amazing. I can totally tell that it tightens my skin and just really cleans it. This stuff is a micellar water, so it's super gentle, but it is such an amazing makeup remover as well. I don't use it as an eye makeup remover just because it has stung my eyes before, but it's really, really amazing at just removing all all of your makeup. So now all there's left to do is moisturize and the first thing I go in with at night is my Rodeal Superfood Facial Oil. So on the right side of the screen there you're seeing some of the amazing benefits that this oil has but seriously there are so many and there are so many good things that this oil does for your skin. These two Rodeal products are a little bit more pricey but if you're in the market for great skincare I highly highly recommend checking them out. And no Rodeal is not paying me 
in any way to talk about these products or list them in my description box or anything. They sent me these products well over three months ago and honestly they are my holy grail skincare products now so I really just wanted to share them with you guys and all opinions are my true honest opinions. So the main thing I think this oil is helping me with is my wrinkles and fine lines on my forehead, around my mouth, around my eyes, all the places that normal fine lines and wrinkles show up. That's why I've been applying this around my eyes instead of really using an eye cream. This has been my eye treatment for overnight. So I've really been noticing some great differences in my skin and I've been highly impressed with the results. We fundamentally depend on that. So I'm going to let that oil soak in and dry on my face and apply my favorite lip balm, which is Sweet Mint by EOS. Now the last thing I like to apply is just my daily moisturizer. This isn't my favorite moisturizer for nighttime, but since I do use that oil under it, it's really enough moisture for me. It gives me plenty. So this again is by Formula 10.0.6. I've really, really been loving it for daytime because it has an SPF, but again, just for a little bit of added moisture on top of the oil, I like to place this stuff. So yeah guys, that's it for my nighttime skincare routine. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up for me and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!